I'm standing next to the 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. Today we're gonna to review about it and talk about the insane capabilities of this car. First we'll talk about the exterior and then the interior and finally we'll take it for a drive. Oh, and by the way, can you please like, comment on this video, subscribe, would love to hear from you guys and follow me at Raider Frankie on Instagram. And I didn't forget to mention that this car does zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. It is the world's fastest production car, not just fastest electric car, fastest production car. This also begs the question, is this car worth $140,000? Should I trade my Model 3 Performance in and get this guy and then pay the extra $1,000 a month for it? Is it all worth it? That's what we're gonna find out today. I've been very excited to drive this car. I gotta go change. While I do that, can you guys check out this quick 30 second video explaining a little bit more about myself? God, it never works. You guys will figure it out. Music, music, music. Talk about the front end first. I think it's a very handsome, sleek looking car. Tesla refreshed the Model S for the 2021 year, giving it a more aggressive look. Subtle upgrades, but very tasteful. This particular car has huge panel gaps. I don't know if it's just the color white and the gaps are black making it more accentuated, but it looks pretty bad and you could tell from a far distance away. Tesla has come under a lot of scrutiny for their fit and finish and this isn't a good example of why that is. The headlights of course offer plenty of light and the daytime running lamps make it unmistakably a Model S. Now the Model S isn't gonna blow you away in aggressive looks, but they are clean, modern, and you don't know that this is the fastest car in the world. That's kind of cool. I love the side profile of this car. The all black molding and accents are key for a more modern look. Hated the chrome, glad Tesla did that several years ago, introducing it with the Model 3, and it really brings together a complete more modern package. Now the Model S Plaid is a large executive or full-size car measuring 198 inches and weighing in at 4,766 pounds. For a $4,500 upgrade, arachnid 21-inch wheels could be yours. These wheels are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. This might be my favorite part of the car. The rear end is so damn sexy. It is much more wide than the regular Model S. Carbon fiber spoiler, black accents, just fat ass. I love it you know that it is a plaid with the badging and with the spoiler and just the overall width of it. The taillights, you know it's a Model S. Welcome to the Model S plaid interior. It is adorned by wood, soft touch materials all around. That's what we like to see, baby. For a $140,000 car, yes, it better be soft touch materials. Plenty of room, of course, in the center console. You got like two depths. Everything slides and uh, works out pretty, pretty well and clean. It looks very clean when it's closed. Let's talk about the utility of the yoke. Look, it's definitely harder to steer on large turns, three-point turns. You're, you're kind of like a lot wider than you would, would be with a normal steering wheel. It's gonna be completely up to you as to whether you like the yoke or not. I would take it because it looks cool, it's different, and it gives you more visibility for your display right here. There's no gear stock, so how do you put it in gear? Well, there you go, you slide this car backwards for reverse, brings up the camera, you slide it forward for drive, and if you want to park, you tap on the brake and press park. Familiar scroll wheels are on the yoke as well as select vital controls. On the left side you have turn signals and lights, your left scroll wheel controls radio functions. The right scroll wheel controls your autopilot and your cruise control speed. Around the scroll wheel you have the horn, your windshield washer fluid, and your microphone for voice commands. Nothing's going to blow you away about the design of the interior of this car except for the minimalist take. The materials are nice, but is it on par with Porsche or Mercedes? Probably not, and I think that's okay. Door releases take a little getting used to. It's a button, but it kind of isn't. You'll see what I mean once you try it. Two large spaces to charge your phone. The 17-inch center display is huge and has a 2200 by 1300 resolution. In the event in which your display were to go completely dark, here is how you would change your gears. You have a nice Alcantara-like material all over the headliner, wrapped around your visors, your mirrors. 
the 22 speaker 960 watt audio system really packs a punch. It even has microphones embedded for active noise cancellation. In the back, there's an eight inch touchscreen display that allows you to control entertainment, climate control, and even music. Now it's hard to even find the vents, but they do blow very well and you can control the direction of them via in this eight inch display also. I found there to be plenty of airflow from these hidden vents, curiously. Inside of the trunk, there's 26 cubic feet behind the seats and 58 cubic feet with the rear seats folded down. There's also an additional five cubic feet underneath the hood. All right, so let's take the plaid for a drive. Same thing as always. Disconnect your charger. Door handles pop out and uh, you're rated by a very nice cabin. Put your key here if you don't have the Bluetooth on your phone and uh, it will come to life and Wants you to put your seatbelt on, of course. Let's swipe back for reverse. There's my Model 3. It is an awkward, you know, the more I drive it, the more I see why people dislike the yoke. I still think it's a cool enough token thing that looks nice and swipe up to drive. Oops. See what I mean? Uh, so I accidentally hit the horn which is right here. The turn signal definitely takes some getting used to. Press it once. After you make the turn, it will automatically turn off. It is a little bit harder to turn than the traditional steering wheel. That, there's no doubt about it. Let's talk about the Model S Plaid versus the Model 3 Performance. The Model 3 performs the zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. After that 60 miles per hour, it does not accelerate nearly as viciously as the Plaid. This thing, rips at higher speeds. You you can beat anything on the road. Do you need to beat every, anything on the road? Probably not. It is so fast, this thing. You feel like a boss in this. That's another thing is like you feel a lot more, this is an executive sedan. It gives you some confidence. No one else has a car fast as this. No one else has the technology. No other car can touch this really, let's be honest. Like for the value, $140,000 is a lot of money and it's an adrenaline rush every time. It's like a roller coaster. And we're not even in cheetah stance. We're not even launching. It's really weird not having a stock. This is the first car I've ever driven without a stock. So compared to the drive to the Model 3, I think it's very similar. This is obviously a heavy car, a lot heavier than the Model 3, but it's very smooth. I feel like the tires aren't as low profile as my Model 3. All right, so you engage autopilot by pressing the right button, and that's how you adjust your maximum speed, of course as in the Model 3. This screen is in landscape mode as opposed to portrait in the previous Model S's. A lot of real estate on it, very cool. It's a very quiet interior. I just rolled up the windows and just like the Model 3, it, it gets super peaceful in here. Right now there's a warning. It says, service is required, safety restraint system fault. So that's not good. I do feel some cold air on my ass. I got auto cooled seats. I like an auto cooled seat, like if it's hot then it's gonna turn on the coolers and I feel it's working good it's like a refrigerator on my ass this yoke I like it uh, people people are complaining about the yoke I think I could get used to it it is weird it's like more of like a rectangle when you're steering you got the haptic feedback on the steering wheel when you touch any button here so that's nice you know that there is some feedback that uh, you did press the button and they're not physical buttons except for the scroll wheels traffic's getting lighter I'm taking over from autopilot I need this guy to get the hell out of the way. I'm going 70 miles an hour, it feels real nice. And let's let's step on him. Holy shit. All right, that was 70 to 90 real quick. I just passing a GT3. Man, that felt like we're going to light speed when I stepped on it. And sounded like it. Oh my God, that's violent. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, I want to do some dangerous, dangerous things in this. Some maneuvers I want to do are very illegal, but I can do them because this thing is so fast. Oh my God, holy shit. Oh my God, that's fast. Wow, you barely tap this thing and it flies. On the freeway, this is a superb driving machine. You're not gonna be disappointed with this puppy. All right, here we go, I got some room. Jesus, this is fast. God damn, we're 90 miles an hour, it doesn't even feel like it. All right, I'm gonna pass this guy in the carpool lane. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Almost at 110, didn't even feel like it. We're still at 85 miles an hour. There's definitely some more body roll in this than the Model 3. It doesn't feel as tight, but it is a far heavier and larger car, so that's no surprise. Also very, a lot faster than the Model 3. How's the autopilot on this? Is the autopilot like same? same? Oh, shit! Ah! Ah! This one doesn't have that friction, it's just freaking. Shit, dude, stop! This is about like, why do, you, why do your nuts feel funny? Yeah. yeah. That's me. This ah, shit. Fuck. You gotta warn me when you're gonna do that. Launch mode hangover. How do you feel? Like nauseous, like car sick, like seasick. You know that the Model S Plaid is a pretty car. It's very functional, easy to drive, user friendly, but how fast can it really go? How does it feel to be launched 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds? To find out, we put it in drag strip mode and let the battery precondition for a few minutes. While this is happening, very loud, audible fans start spinning. Once you get this notification drag strip peak performance ready, you then have one foot on the brake, one foot on the accelerator. When you do this, the plaid goes in the cheetah stance. That means you can actively see the suspension in the front lowering and the rear rising to get ready to launch. You see this, and you're about to go plaid. Right, guys so you saw the interior you saw the exterior we took it for a drive it's fast as hell we know this but two questions is it worth hundred and forty thousand dollars and will I trade my model 3 performance in for this and then pay the difference which is over a thousand dollars a month for this car I do think that this car is worth hundred and forty thousand dollars when you measure the performance the technology the capability you could seat five in here comfortably it is it drives itself when you're having a bad day in traffic, there's nothing like, from experience, there's nothing like turning on autopilot and relaxing in your cocoon, listening to music in your climate controlled environment. Trust me, even for that, the base model, Model 3, is worth it just to have that. Like, if you're considering a Tesla and you're in traffic all the time, get one just for that. The second question, will I trade my Model 3 performance in for a Tesla Model S Plaid? No. Why? Because I don't think that the extra second zero to 60 is worth double the price of my car, an extra thousand dollars plus a month. I just don't think so. And I like my car. It's fast. I still can beat anything out there. It's nimble. It's, it has less body roll than this. Of course, it has all the features um, that typical Teslas have. And I don't think it's necessarily worth it at this point in my life to trade in that car. I gotta do it. I have to get one of these. It, the emotions it creates are too badass. I feel like a G in the I have to do it. It is so fast. No one has this shit. Oh my God, it's I have to do it, dude. I shouldn't have run in this car. But 
this has been a great experience with you guys reviewing this car and having so much fun driving it. It is a beast. It is fast as hell. This is my first time driving a Model S, let alone a Plaid. So it still blew me away though, how quick the zero to 60 is. I mean, to have that at your fingertips with also all the technology and comfort all in one car. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate your time. Please like this video, subscribe and comment and let me know what you think of the Tesla Model S Palladium. Um, also, follow me on Instagram. I got a lot of cool stuff coming out, and I'm stoked to hear from you guys. Frankie D signing out.